Alright, looks like I'm tail gunner. Smelling the two stroke. And we're gonna see if we can get up out of this rain. Kind of right on the edge. Nine of us. Big snowfall. Apparently there was a lot of getting stuck yesterday. And we're gonna try to get up high. A little worried about the avalanche danger. Speaking of that, I might as well get my bag ready. Listen for it. All right, I'm armed and dangerous. This is Brian, and you guys copy? Yes. Continue the direction you're going for just a little bit, and then you can drop down to the right. We've got one stuck. We're digging out. All right, copy. I think I hear you above me. out our way down for him. This will work. Whoa. All right. Let's see if I can get over to those guys. It's kind of tough because the snow is rained on top. It's a little crunchy. Those trees are thick right there. The tree wells are big. Oh, well, at least it's kind of flat so I can creep through here. Some barking over there. Here, man, we were down in the rain for a while, mucking around, getting stuck. Tree wells are big. But finally, we hit the, the deep line. I think we're trying to make it up to the lake. Don't see him moving yet. So I'll keep the log down, nice.
other snow bike tracks up. I guess there were some snow bikers up yesterday, so I missed them by a day. Here's a single track avoiding all the bumps. much smoother over here in the snow bike track. I was watching one of the videos when I hit these things. Just look at the g-forces just spiking when I get off over here. Snow bike track. It's just kind of hard to stay in a single track like this. Especially when you can't see anything. So and I guess I'm now relegated. There could be some drifts up here too. This is a really exposed ridge top here. I use Gov as my uh, my uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Sacrificial lamb. Whatever he does, I'll have time to react at least. Uh, I can't see anything over here, otherwise, stay up on that side. You never know if you could hit a drift, culvert. At least it's good enough you can see the trees, but there's some drop off or something or tree stump that might come at you pretty quick wow this would be a normally a great hill to snow bike on but visibility is down to nothing I might have to bust out my light just so people can see me Nil visibility, we're just following each other like the lemmings, blind leading the blind. Hopefully we don't go off a cliff. Now we're on a road. Problem is this road sometimes avalanches up here. So I am gonna stay heads up. There's a little slide path that sometimes comes across the road where wind loads. Anyway, with this lack of visibility, I'll take the opportunity to tell you a little bit about myself. I am a genuine professor, so I don't just play one on TV. I'm a professor at a place known as the Harvard of Eastern Oregon, unmatched in academic programs and quality for Eastern Oregon. We have no, no one even close to us at the Harvard of Eastern Oregon. So most of these places I'm at, are in the vicinity and since I profess to be a um, recreation enthusiast and all about fitness and sport and recreation sports management is one of my main areas also sport ethics so of course everything I do is on the level from a moral standpoint you know, nothing immoral going on here. Just having fun. 
So that's kind of my background. I do have um, I do have five college degrees. Five. None of them are in snow biking or underwater basket weaving. But still, everything I say is BS. Like my motto, at least on the on the snow bike, of course. Actually, in classes the other day too, I was telling the students everything I say is BS, basically. But I never share my opinion. <laughs> it's a good thing. That's what. Boy, if I say that, it's my disclaimer. Say whatever I want. Not get fired. Me Too movement doesn't get me. Actually, I said some things last term that <laughs> uh, that uh, I made sure I was clear. I'm not sharing my opinion. I'm just uh, arguing the other point. <laughs> so I've been a college professor for 20 some years. I've kind of lost count. It's 20 it's, uh, three years. 23 years forever man I'm in the fourth quarter of my career and when I retire I'm going bonkers I've been waiting I've been so happy about thinking about retirement since day one of working and even though I love love my job it's a uh, I've had a good career but can't be retirement like some of these guys I'm out with here are retired and I can see the light how good life is so I'm counting it down I think we're getting close to that that slide path can't see anything out here hitting these bumps Bumps are ridiculous. Need some grooming. This club is good at grooming, but I think the lack of snow, they just haven't caught up with it yet. Plus, I think their poker run's coming up. I'll get some motivation. Top of you could see the bumps, too. You could kind of glance off of them, but... Nope. Luckily the snow bikers forged a little path. Okay. Seems like a trustworthy path. Not sure where he's going. He might drop off here at any moment. Actually I better be <laughs> use some caution. Can't see. That looks like a steep slope down there. want to hit something and have it veer me off. Slide down that. I'm the tail gunner here. Tail gunner gets hurt. No one's around. Some of the people are good at looking back, checking on the tail gunner. Boy, if you get too far back, you can't even see. Goves is only like 20 feet in front of him. I can barely see his tail light. All right, get back in this super highway. Whoa. <laughs> it's kind of hard. It's like just following a big rut. a little more about me I'm about 10 years ago I used to bike race like crazy not motorbike race bike race like uh, road race skinny tires I still ride my bike quite a bit in fact with some of this off time to get in shape for a ski trip I got coming up this weekend I was actually riding ride my bike quite a bit by off team time I mean uh, we had a spell of no snow 
All right, we're at the, we survived it. We're at the lake. Take over his tail gunner. When I was a bike racer, I used to always be tail gunner at the back of the peloton. I did not like being in the middle of the group. It served me well. I never crashed once. It's actually some luck, but I always saw him coming from the back of the pack. It's not the best place to be racing from, but I had a pretty good career. Won some races, had some good results, and then I got more into mountain biking. And then, uh, let's see what's going on here. And then backcountry skiing. And then I needed snowmobiles to access backcountry. So I started riding snowmobiles and found out they were super fun and eventually started ditching the skis. Found it's way easier to make friends around here that are snowmobilers than backcountry skiers. It's not much of a community for backcountry skiing, and I use the term community really loosely. There's not a lot of communion going on. Found the same with cyclists. But when it comes to gearheads, great. These guys are great to ride with. And then I found a snow bike, or I saw one start talking to some people about them. A real selling point when someone told me how controlled you are on the side hills. I was like, yeah, that is it. Plus, I'm, I just love riding two wheels and a bike. So, it was a good fit. And I was just learning how to ride a sled really good too. But I love these snow bikes. feels a little more natural for me. I'm not as nervous on one. I feel more in control. Well, look at that. I just wimped out of some badass riding. Or at least the badass group went right. And just because it's getting later in the day, raining. Actually, we're starting to get into snow, but I'm kind of low on fuel and just not feeling it today. Stoke is not there. Snow is just wet, heavy junk. I mean, it's kind of kind of fun to mess around if it wasn't raining on us. Well, I'm not cold. I'm a little wet. So I'm comfortable. It's just for whatever reason, I'm not I'm not feeling it. So it's probably just as well we never made it up high into the dangerous spots because avalanche danger has just got to be going off right now. It's unloading snow. It's wet, heavy snow. Temperatures are warmish. Friend, we're feeding us something mixed with a cucumber look for. Oh, yeah. I don't like cucumber. You don't like cucumber? No. She was going through it pretty fast. <laughs> no, that would not be my drink of choice. That was better than Tim's uh, two thirds vodka and one third cranberry juice. <laughs> that doesn't sound bad either. It don't? Mm. What's in your mind? Are you recording all this? Uh, okay. <laughs> I see your light flashing. Is it red? Yeah. Well, my modification to those foot pegs is better. 
I just took the adventure foot pegs which having that nicer longer platform has been really good especially for my big dogs but they were still caking with snow so I just took a uh, I suppose I shouldn't try going through that hole um, I just took an oscillating tool cut the center right out of it and they're working much better it's kind of my plan from the start I could see that they look like they would pack snow in so I was just waiting to see if they didn't sure enough they did so I just cut that out and been working much better. I think that's a big logging pile there. Whoa. So when I review the video footage, look at these snow bikers coming up yesterday. Same guys I saw earlier. Anyway, I notice I do a lot of grunting and um, moaning, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't realize I do that much. But there's a lot of twisting going on. It's using my body quite a bit. And so it's kind of like, you know, when you work out, you grunt, you know, you know, like doing some squats or whatever. So it's good when you're doing some sit-ups, push-ups, kind of the same thing. Anyway, that explains it, why I'm grunting. Plus there's a lot of grunting and moaning going on during sexual intercourse, which is basically what's happening here. So people say it's better than sex, I guess. I'd say about skiing snowmobiling. So I don't know if I've heard snow bikers say that, but anyway, that ex that's my justification. So I'm fine with all the grunting. I just didn't realize I didn't do it. I, I didn't realize I was doing it, I guess. 